Moving on now to some updates from South Africa, where the scandal hit former president appeared before court over a two decade old corruption case. But the long delayed corruption trial of Jacob Zuma was adjourned almost immediately after the opening proceedings. This trial is then adjourned to the 26th of May 2021. Back here in Peter Marisburg in this courtroom, and uh, the accused are warned to be present on that day. And as previously discussed, it's contemplated that on that day the plea will be recorded. The corruption trial has now been postponed to May 26, and the case has been postponed numerous times before as well. Zuma has previously described the trial as a political witch hunt, but his successor, Cyril Ramaphosa, has vowed to root out corruption in the country. The embattled former president was forced to resign three years ago in the face of multiple corruption scandals. The former South African president faces 16 charges of fraud, graft and racketeering related to a 1999 arms purchase. The arms purchase includes fighter jets, patrol boats and military gear from five European arms firms for more than $5 billion at the time. The then deputy president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, is accused of accepting bribes, accounting to nearly $300,000 from one of the French firms. In fact, last month, all of Zuma's lawyers had quit without publicly giving any reason. Observers speculated that the surprise step could be a ploy to seek yet another postponement of his hearing. For now, Zuma's repeated refusal to testify has led to a judicial stalemate. But he has been named directly or indirectly by more than 30 witnesses before the anti-corruption panel. Our correspondent Cal Denongmu gets us more details in this next report from Johannesburg. Take a look. Former South African President Jacob Zuma's highly anticipated arms deal corruption trial has been postponed once again to 26th May 2021 in the Peter Maritzburg High Court so that his special plea can be dealt with. Zuma and his team has sought recusal of advocate Billy Downer, SC, who is representing the state. Zuma's attorney said it should never be regarded that the plea he intends to raise is a sign that the former president is not ready to proceed. National Prosecuting Authority spokesperson Sifo Nguema last night told Weon that NPA is already ready to proceed with the trial. He confirmed that all the necessary preparations and all 207 witnesses are ready. Zuma's advocate also confirmed that the former president will plead not guilty once case gets underway. This is Kalden Ongmo from Johannesburg, South Africa. For Weon, World is One. Weon, World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.